It's April 18th, 1994. The number one movie in the country was The Lion King. East 17's It's Alright was topping the charts. Brian Lara had a world record 375 runs versus England. Brian Lara has done it, the new world record holder. What a moment. And Sports Card World opened in the City Centre Arcade. Show them, Herbie. I remember being a pretty shy kid. I, I was comfortable around people that I knew, but I wasn't great with people I hadn't met before. Grant Williams, the owner at the time, was doing some bar work at my local footy club, so that's how I knew him. And when I knew he was starting up the shop, I had a meeting with Grant one night, and he basically said to me, you collect NBA cards, are you interested in, in a job? And I was like, well, yeah, of course, like I'd love a job. And he put out his hand, shook my hand, and that was my job interview. I, I got the job, and here I am. Grant asked me if I had some friends that were also card collectors, and of course, I'd known Ben since kindergarten. So I was like, yeah, my friend Ben, he'd be keen for a job. A meeting, shake of a hand, and Ben had a job as well. When they asked me about working, I thought, I might be interesting, I'll have a, have a sus. Well, I was obviously collecting cards at the time, and I thought the job would be good. Hadn't done anything before, so I'd give it a go. Six months after starting part-time, I left school and I started full time and that's all I've ever did. <laughs> now there's collector's choice crash the game from upper deck. One in eight packs has a crash card like this. In 1994 we were solely sports based card selling. It's taking chances. It's beam team. We had the opportunity at the time to meet um, Scott Ninnis. Him and Robert Rose actually opened up a card shop down in Glenelg and Ben and I were lucky enough to forge a friendship with them and help them out in store when we weren't doing shifts at Sports Card World. Ben and I used to take it in turns to work a Thursday night or a, or a Sunday. Uh, quite often we were working with Scott or Rob, so it was all awesome, you know, interacting with those guys in their shop. It was great, because they were like, they were celebrities and just like 15 year old kids. Within a year, we had ventured into non-sports cards, uh, Coca-Cola and Ren and Stimpy, but NBA cards were still king especially with Michael Jordan coming out of retirement. Michael Jordan has returned. And... Oh, oh, yeah, the foul. Got him in the air. Michael Jordan has 55. Well, it was probably around 95 when we first had a box of magic on the shelf. We had a few people ask us about it. We thought, I will give it a go. We've got one box. Sat there. Why well, are you going to look at it? Well, what is this shit? And I reckon that box sat on the shelf for like months and months and gathered dust and until one person showed some sort of interest and Grant basically just dumped the box super cheap and we thought, we're done, we're not doing those card games again. And then all of a sudden, all these guys come in looking for it. After Star Trek and Star Wars come out, they were going, do you have any magic? Do you have any magic? So after that was when we started selling a lot of Magic the Gathering cards. <laughs> Magic the Gathering, the trading card game. And this is a new thing for the store. So I thought, I better learn how to play it. I used to play it a fair bit, even when I went in tournaments and that. I wasn't very good, but I knew the game in and out. Wacko, wacko, wacko. There were so many shops everywhere around the place, but they all started closing down because I guess it was mainly a sports-based thing. So it was worrying, like you sort of thought, was the hobby ending? Grant was a really good businessman, and he, he looked at other things to, I guess, continue the business. So it wasn't just about sports cards, it was gaming. We started selling phone cards, we did dry cleaning. It was all things just to get an income into the business, which others didn't do. Thanks to Grant's business sense, we were one of the only shops to survive in Australia. And unbelievably, it was a card game product that would come along that would save the business. Are you ready to be the ultimate Pokemon Master Trainer? Yes, I think I am. In the peak of Pokemon, I remember just being able to shell cases just so we could get all the Hollow 4 rares, your Charizards, your Blastoise, Venusaurs, these cards. We would have families come in with want lists and, and just go, we need 10 cards to finish the set. Generally, it was all those high valued foil rares. Charizard was probably like an $80 card back in the day. 
The Yu-Gi-Oh, I guess, came popular early 2000s. Similar type of thing, like an animation type card game. Playtime is over. Yu-Gi-Oh collectors were playing the game a bit more than probably Pokemon. Pokemon collectors want to just have the full collection. Yu-Gi-Oh, you were buying cards to, to make a deck and, and, to, and to duel with. NBA did make a big resurgence in 2003 when a rookie named LeBron James got drafted. Oh, the explosion from the wonder kid, LeBron James. Upper Deck had an exclusive deal with LeBron James, so for autographs and memorabilia, and some of those rookie cards are his most valuable today. Around that time, Upper Deck introduced more premium sets, one in particular called Upper Deck Exquisite. I remember we never stocked it because it was a really high-end product. We had a customer inquire about it and we were able at the time to purchase a case of three boxes for $3,000. The customer knocked it back because he thought it was a little bit overpriced and wasn't prepared to take the punt. Those cases are worth a fortune today. After like that LeBron James rookie year, Andrew Bogut being drafted number one a couple of years later. These days there's lots of Australians in the NBA and lots of, of collectors collect the Australian players. But yeah, that definitely started with uh, Andrew Bogut back in, the, in 05 getting drafted. Uh, Grant to me was, I guess initially, he was my boss. But then we become friends, although he was older than us, he was certainly a mate and I guess a mentor, someone we looked up to and gave us really good advice. Outside of work, you know, he helped me negotiate and buy my first car. He helped me buy my first house. So he was certainly my best mate, uh, along with Ben, but um, it was certainly someone that was like a mentor and, and, and taught me a lot in life. 2014, uh, Grant and I had decided to have another overseas adventure. We decided to travel to Dubai for the first time. Grant had probably not been in great health. When we got there, I sort of probably realised that he was a bit sicker than what I thought, and uh, I ended up doing a lot of the, the, the touring and everything by myself, and he just wasn't really that well to do that with me. And um, he, he passed away whilst we were in Dubai. I was shocked, I could not believe it. It was like... Like, one of my mates is gone. To be in a foreign country, not a Western-speaking country, and have to deal with everything on top of grief um, was definitely the most difficult time in my life. We had discussed with Grant to take over the business. That's something we wanted to do and something that was definitely his wishes for us to continue the business. One of the biggest milestones for Ben and I since we took over the business was making the move from the city centre arcade to the region arcade. It was daunting at the time, but in hindsight, it was probably the best thing that we've ever done. We had basically the same size shop as we did in the city centre, and that was great. But just as card collecting became more popular again, we started to run out of room. So we were able to uh, knock down the wall and make the shop uh, twice the size that it was and to what it is today. Business was booming with the NBA card hype and just card collecting in general. And, uh, and then, um, yeah, the world changed overnight. Tonight, South Australia is in lockdown. Our streets and public places empty and quiet as so many do the right thing in the hope we'll all stay safe. We didn't know how long it was going to be around. Like We thought, oh, well, if we can get through the next you know, two or three months, we'll, it'll be good, it'll, it will disappear. From Monday at midnight, the lockdown will extend until the end of September. We were extremely fortunate in that Collecting became super popular. People through that period were stuck at home and for us, the card boom went crazy through COVID. It's been called the biggest sports card craze in a generation. Prices for some cards tripling or quadrupling in value over the last year. Fortunately for us, we were super busy, busier than we had ever been. We 
well, we were lucky enough that we had a good team around us. We had uh, Will and Aiden. Aiden's still with us today and he's been here for just over 10 years and Will was with us for 10 years. Aaron, who's Aiden's brother, came along and so enthusiastic. We've got Josh, who's the same. Loves coming to work, loves cards, loves people. Adam, we've been able to add to the team as well. And the way Ben and I run the business and try to look after the staff is exactly what Grant did with us. It was all about, we were looked after so we felt like we were an important part of the business. And that's what we try to do with these guys and, and just make it fun. <laughs> the last few years for us has been really good. The popularity of cars has got a lot more people interested and that's led to a lot of things for us. Uh, very fortunate to be able to sponsor South Adelaide Basketball Club, Adelaide 36ers, we're player sponsors for the Adelaide Crows and we sponsor other organisations as well. And it's something we, we're really fortunate to do and we enjoy doing. We've led on to doing our trade days, something that we really wanted to do to bring the card community together. And the last couple of years we've brought in some AFL stars to make it a fun, free family event that people can come and meet their footy heroes, get a card signed, get a jumper signed, do some trading with a, another collector or just chat with like-minded people. And yeah, that's something that we've enjoyed doing and yeah, we'll continue to do. I look back now, 30 years, I'm like, where's it gone? Um, when I started, I thought, if I can stick it out for a year or two, uh, I'll be able to decide what I want to do in my life and, and go from there. 30 years later, I've done nothing else. This has been my passion. My parents thought it was going to be done in two years and that was it. <laughs> I never thought I'd be here 30 years and hopefully I'm still here another 20 or 30 years doing the same thing because, yeah, we love what we do. Hey guys, it's Joshua Shelley here. Just quickly wishing a happy 30th birthday to the team at Sports Card World. What a great achievement, guys. Great stuff. Hey, g'day boys. Heard it's your 30th birthday. Congratulations. Isn't that incredible? 30 years ago this all started. I can't believe it. I'm nearly, I'm nearly been retired for 30 years. How unbelievable is that? Now, one thing I do want to say, uh, I bet you've got none of them left. Ah, <laughs> uh, only joking. Have a great one, boys. Well done, 30 years. Boys, Sports Card World, happy 30th birthday. Have a great weekend, dust off a few of those Tommy Jonas rookie cards and get into it. Cheers. Hey Matt and Benny, it's Rowie here, 588. Um, mate, happy 30th birthday. It's Ben Blues here. They're our colours. You're a unique shop, you're an iconic shop. Love going there. I love meeting up with you guys. We need to have a ka -ching. But mate, happy birthday, buddy. Well done. Hey Sports Club World, Wello here. Just want to say a massive 30th birthday to Matt, Ben and the crew down at Sports Club World. You guys have been doing an amazing job, so hopefully you can keep up the good work. Hey Ben, hey Matt, it's Rob over at Burbank Sports Cards, the card father. Wanted to wish you congratulations on 30 years in the business. It's a very difficult business. It's a lot of work, obviously. You've done real well by your customers. They obviously love you. Here's to another 30 years, man. Cheers. To the best in the biz, in Matt Ben and the team at Sports Card World, happy 30th birthday, incredible achievement. Uh, I hope you celebrate by opening some packs, maybe even get a rare Tom Brady card that I'll have to come in and buy off you. But I hope it's a cracking day, well done again, and all the best, cheers. Hey guys, Kyle Chalmers here, just wishing the team at Sports Card World a very happy 30th birthday. I'll have to come in and get some cards very soon. Hey guys, just wanted to wish the team at Sports Card World a happy 30th birthday. I uh, hope you're all going well. Look forward to catching up soon. Cheers. Ben and Maddie from Sports Card World, happy 30th. Congratulations, you blokes are superstars. Greg, <laughs> Burn, wish them happy birthday. Happy birthday. And you've got our cards there. Yeah, mine's the best seller, oh, no yeah. doubt. Burn, they can't find yours. It's Yes, sports card world. We've got a mute. We've got a mute. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, guys. Well done. All the best. Good luck. Happy 30th birthday, Matt and Ben, and your whole team at Sports Card World. You guys are absolutely amazing. G'day, Matt and Ben. Sports Card World. 30 years. Can you believe it? What an achievement. 30 years. That means you started when I was two. <laughs> That's my $3,000 Brownlow card. How are the squash cards going? I haven't got going. any royalties <laughs> on that at all. Um, what about my under-13s netball card? <laughs> That's still for sale. Yeah. You can get that. Yeah. No, you've done a great job. No, well done. It's an iconic shop in yeah. Adelaide. 30 years, boys. Well done. And uh, we look forward to working with you again on Triple M. 
G'day guys, the great guys at Sports Card World. Happy birthday, 30th birthday. That's unbelievable. We don't look a day over 21. Yeah, that's outrageous. Uh, just a quick question without notice. Do you have an Andrew Hayes Central Districts card uh, from around, what, circa mm, 19? Oh, 2010 was oh, the sorry. prime year. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, asking for a friend who yeah. might be my mum. Yeah, number 22. See what you can do. Happy birthday. Happy 30th birthday to Sports Card World, uh, to Matt and Ben. Uh, you got, we've been mates for 30 years, which is, which is hard to believe now. Uh, congratulations, it's a phenomenal success in this day and age for a business to last that long. Uh, I know Grant would be looking down and be very, very proud of you guys.